Hi everyone, I'm Rita from Nordic Crafting and welcome back to my channel. This is my project today. Everyone is burning some candles every now and then, or at least most do, and it will leave stumps. Normally the stumps are a bit smaller than these, but these were used in my advent lights, so since there was moss in it I didn't want to burn them too far down. And this is a bit too much candle to throw away if you ask me, so I'm gonna reuse these. All of these will be melted down and I'm gonna create new candles from them. Follow me. So what you see here is the equipment I will use. I have my candles that I'm gonna melt. I have my container here, something to hold it with because it will get hot. And I will be using silicone cupcake forms to create the candles itself, as well as a scissor there, so I can cut away the black parts here. The vex themselves, I'm gonna save. I'm reusing them as well. And over there is a pot of water boiling. So let's get started. So as you can see, it's almost melted. Because I want to make two candles, I kind of like to make pairs. I also added a couple of tea, uh, tea light candles um, just to get enough uh, stearine to actually make two candles. The mass from the stumps alone would be maybe one candle and I really wanted two. So I've been cheating a bit and adding a couple of tea candles. but. I will save up a lot of stumps for my next, next candle project. When this is completely melted, um, I'm going to fish up the vex, place them on the baking paper I have next to me here, and make sure they are straight. Because I don't have uh, all of the equipment or vex on a roll, you know, so I can't tie it up on a pencil above to keep it straight. So I'm going to put it through afterwards, meaning I'm going to heat up a knitting pin push it through the center of the candle and kind of fish through the vec. So it's a good thing it's soaked in stearine already. So the mass is melted and the vex from the candles that were here is here already. So I'm placing it here, sorry for being in the way, trying to straighten it out because I want to use this and it's a benefit if they are straight. I'm only making two candles, I will have four vex, so I'm gonna save for another candle project in the future. And this is the main reason why I'm having baking paper on this tray. It's a bit easier to throw the baking paper away than to try to get the stearine away from the baking plate. So now, when those are there, I'm gonna pour the stearine into the fold, uh, the forms here, the molds. And again, because I'm having the baking paper here, I can spill, it's okay. I'm gonna try not to though. And I'm pouring really gently. I do not want air bubbles. So here they are. Since we're having very cold minus degrees here in the Nordics during winter, I took them outside to speed up the setting process a bit. So now I'm gonna demold them. I'm just starting by gently loosening the edges a bit. Like this. And then I just do what I would do with a cupcake. And pushing with my fingers not to pull, it easily comes out like this. Looks like a cupcake. The sound you are hearing in the background now is me flushing as hot water as I can get from my tap, heating up the knitting pin so it will e more easily 
go through the center here. So here we go. Just push gently and it goes through. I'm not even certain you would need to heat up the knitting pin, but I like to do it. Now you have a hole in the middle here. So I'm widening the hole now. I like to start with the thinner one because it's easier to stick a hole through first with the thin one than to try to push this really thick one through instantly. See? Hole is really big. Now I'm gonna try my best to get the VEC through. Like that. I just cut it off here. And I might be able to use the other part for the last candle. Like that. So guys, two nice little candles. Three including the one already burning. That's how easily you can reuse small stumps. Now I kind of helped it on the speed a bit with some tea candles, but if you just save stumps long enough, you get new candles just like this. Perfect for presents or just for using for yourself. I hope you will subscribe to my channel if you're not already doing that. Remember to tick off the bell so you will get a notification when I upload a new video. Drop me a comment and See you next time. Bye.